Hi, in this video we will discuss about applying the Ford Fulkerson algorithm to identify the maximum flow in the given network. So here the network is given uh, with uh, six uh, vertices here s2 v1 is the maximum capacity allowing is 11 units v1 to v3 is 12 units v3 to t is 19 units so like that for every uh, edge is having its own capacity the ford fulkerson algorithm is carrying the graphs s with two vertices uh, source and sink t here we are initializing the flow with zero so s of now f equal to zero then we are checking is there any augmenting path available or not so for that we are checking with uh, network by updating the initial flow actually we will use to uh, identify the flow and the capacity for each and every edge so based upon that here i am initializing the uh, flow for each and every edge with zero so all the edges are initialized the flow is zero in the initial uh, before starting of the iteration then in the iteration number one we are identifying the augmenting path right that is augmenting flow so here i uh, as of now my flow is zero that's what given here now i am trying to identify the path augmenting path s2 v2 right s2 v2 this one and v2 v4 v4 to t so here i am having uh, three edges from the uh, s2 so in, among this i have to identify the minimum value so minimum uh, uh, flow value between the uh, uh, u and v right u and v uh, in the given path p so this is the path p so from this u and v 12 is the uh, value here among this three values so 12 comma 11 comma 4 so the minimum value is here 4 so now we are going to add this 4 with the overall flow f so now f equal to 0 plus 4 we will get 4 is the total flow now after identifying that we have to update the current it, uh, current flow in the given iteration one so now i am updating that so in this uh, four is the flow right and uh, uh, 12 is the capacity so right so that is the that is what we are using flow slash c right so here four units four units we are representing so now as of here uh, total flow is 0 plus 4 4 units then we are going for next iteration number 2 so this is the uh, result we got from the iteration number 1 then here we have to update the residual values in the forward direction and the backward direction so here uh, the forward direction is uh, represented with 12 minus 4 8 and here 11 minus 4 uh, 7 then here 4 minus 4 here which is having 0 so you no need to represent the edge with 0 that's why i did not mention the uh, forward direction edge here with 0 then in the backward direction the formula is here uh, we are using uh, cf equal to the capacity right capacity already which is existing between the v comma u so here this is v this is u right plus then flow between the u comma v so right so here the v comma u already capacity is in the backward direction previously it was zero right so zero plus then uh, f of u comma v so here the flow between the u comma v is now 4 so 0 plus 4 is 4 that's what written here in the backward direction right then uh, like that we have to represent the uh, residual capacity in backward direction based upon the flow after that we have to identify the augmenting path in the iteration number so in the iteration number 2 i am identifying the augmenting path here uh, s2 v1 11 units v1 to v3 uh, 12 units v3 to t is here 9, 19 units so then we are applying the formula to identifying the minimum of the 
uh flow between the u comma v so here this one 11 units between the u comma v then here we want the v3 so 12 units between the u comma v then here uh, 19 is the value so minimum of this three here we are getting 11 is the minimum value so now i am going to take the minimum value from this at uh, augmenting path 2 from the iteration 2 so as of this here f is 4 right from the previous iteration now we are identifying the new path in the iteration number 2 its value is now 11 so 11 will be added to this flow so now uh, after identifying that we have to update the uh, flow for the current iteration so here this is the path we identified here right then we are updating flow is 11 units right because this is the minimum value right then flow here which is represented right so as of now the 15 is the value we got as a flow in the second iteration after this from this resulted graph we have to update the residual values so here updating the residual values here uh, the residual values uh, here 11 minus 11 right so flow is this one capacity is this one so what is the uh, formula for the forward direction so already existing capacity between the u comma v minus f of u comma v so already existing capacity is here 11 right minus the flow is here 11 so 11 minus 11 which is 0 right so like that in the backward directions uh, we are calculating the value c of v comma u okay c of v comma u earlier it was 0 okay here right Pl uh, plus f of u u comma v so here 0 plus here flow is 11 so 0 plus 11 11 so that like that we have to calculate for this entire path right so after that right this is the value we got in the previous iteration we are trying to identify the uh, graph by removing the zero capacity value so here i am removing the zero capacity values here uh, this one right so that's what i have removed this right the zero capacity values so this is the resulted graph after removing the zero capacity edges now from this i am trying to identify the new path okay in the iteration number three right so the new path here this one right s2 v2 right v2 to v4 v4 to v3 v3 to t right so that's what we are identifying so the path we are identifying here so the augmenting path value so what is the flow value here you look at that this is the uh flow between this uh, uh, vertices in the given path so minimum of this one is we have to identify minimum of 8 comma 7 comma 7 comma 8 is right 7 right now the path value is identified here then we are calculating the value in the forward direction so here 8 minus here we are get, taking the minimum value is 7 right so uh, here 8 minus 7 is 1 by updating the value then here we have to add this 7 am i right actually the capacity in the backward direction equal to right we are mentioning c of u comma v right c of u comma v v then right v, v comma u in the backward direction v comma u plus f of u comma v right c of v comma u right this is v this is u four units plus f of u comma v as of this augmentation flow seven units right so which is allowing here then four plus seven is 11 so like that we have to calculate for entire uh, entire path here right so after that we are getting the total flow is 22 at the end of the iteration number 3 right so this is the first iteration value second iteration value third iteration value after this we have to update the residual values by using this uh, formula here then you look at that we are getting the values in the residual uh, graph you will see here we are getting zero so we are removing this edge right so like that here also we are seven minus seven we are getting zero so that's why we are removing this edge right so after that we are applying the uh, iteration number four to identify the new path 
here uh, for new path here augmentation path we are getting s2 v2 v2 to v1 v1 to v3 v3 to t so all this edges are having value 1 you look at that here this is 1 right here capacity is 1 here also capacity is 1 here also capacity is 1 so this is the path we are identifying uh, in the iteration number 4 then minimum of this all values right minimum of 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 equal to 1 so we are applying this right so here we are adding the value as per this statement already existing flow is here 22 now we are identifying the new path 1 then this should be updated right f equal to new uh, existing f plus new path value that is 1 right f dash right so now 22 plus 1 is 23 we got this now we are updating the residual values in the graph after updating here you see here 11 uh, here 1 is the flow so 1 minus 1 0 will come here right in the forward direction 0 will come so we are removing the 0 edges and in the backward direction 11 plus 1 okay 11 the flow value is 1 so we are adding this so like that we have to add this all uh, paths so here after this you see there is no uh, no more paths available to identify the flow if no more paths possible then we can uh, stop the algorithm right so now total flow we got here is the uh, value of this 23 right that's what given here time complexity is here for each capacity of the edge calculation the integer right the capacity is an integer then time complexity will be order of the number of edges into calculation of the flow value so f is the maximum flow here uh, the reason is uh, each time the flow is increased by at least one the uh, minimum uh, flow right minimum flow at least we will have one among all this uh, edge weights right so this might not be a polynomial time algorithm because the flow f can be represented by using the uh, logarithmic function with the flow value right so it can be the log of the flow value applications here we can use for the image segmentations uh, problem and also uh, here that is useful to identify the nearby uh, edges nearby edges in the image uh, to identify the uh, same intensity pixel values thanks for watching